Augusta Health is celebrating one year of improving the health of the community through its mobile clinics. Today, now on three for this Medical Monday, we're joined by Isaac Azillo, the Director of Public and Primary Care Services for Augusta Medical Group. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so as I mentioned, it's been one year since these mobile clinics took off. So talk about what these are exactly and the different types of services Augusta Health offers through them. Yes, uh, so these clinics are aimed to help people with high complexity issues, people that are in underserved uh, communities that are limited by access to the care that they've been receiving historically. So we wanna go to these trusted uh, community partner locations to help provide services for primary care, chronic disease management, uh, we do some vaccines, we have case management referrals, help people connect to specialty referrals for uh, unique diseases. Uh, we have people that we help with Medicaid enrollment and also financial assistance. We do cervical exam screenings. We have people that need assistance with medications. We have a, a coordinated program leader with someone called a program called Every Woman's Life for limited uh, individuals that of women that have not received cervical exams or mammographies. So it's, uh, we also do sexually transmitted infection disease uh, testing, as well as addiction management and treatment and referrals. So it's really a comprehensive approach to the unique needs of our community. Definitely sounds like there's a lot to offer there. And so who can we expect to see at these mobile clinics? Who all is involved with them? We uh, have a lot of community partners that are involved. Uh, which makes it wonderful in the terms of, of really meeting the needs of our community. You know, what we really aim to do is try to take the burden of health care for those who can't access it from limitations of, of finances or, or transportation or mobility issues. Um, so we really find people that haven't been able to access this health care and have been limited by the burden of financial reasons. So we have uh, this comprehensive group and team that goes to really aim and charge and meet them uh, to address these really uh, complex needs that they've been experiencing. And you talked about improving the access to health care and having these clinics in various locations. Talk about why that is so important and the impacts that are made by offering these services. It's so important to go where they're at because they feel safe most importantly, uh, they trust the locations that we go to. And, and in turn, that really accepts the care that we're trying to improve uh, upon them. And, you know, at the end of the day, we're just trying to help individuals be better, uh, feel better, uh, not only physically, but emotionally, and, and help them be a, a great part of our community. And, you know, we're just so fortunate that I work for an organization that strives to be the, the pillar of, of community-based health care and lets us go out and provide this work. All right. So where can folks learn more about the mobile clinics and where they might be able to find the next one? Yes. Yeah, so you, you can access our mobile clinic in a couple of ways. One, you can reach us by our telephone number at 540-332-7914, or you can look at our website that we will attach to the link. Our next clinic is actually this morning today at the Disciples Kitchen in, in Waynesboro, but pay close attention to our website and our, our locations as we go to, to three to four different locations every week. So we are out and about in our community and we would love to see you and help those in need. All right, Isaac, thank you so much again for joining us today. Thank you for having me.